While the slowdown was expected in the June quarter numbers, the extent of pullback comes as a surprise. But global conditions have been challenging, but much of the uh, weakness here was homeborn, particularly because of low consumption spending as well as tepid investment growth. Now, this is also reflected on the supply side via core GVA as well as non-farm activity that has really declined sharply um, you know, to, to all multi-year low. Now, taking this combination, where do we see FI20 growth? Uh, because it's setting off on a weak note, we do expect a, a full year growth to be in the low 6% handle. Uh, so our estimate is at about 6.2%. However, we do think the, you know, this, this uh, trajectory assumes that in the rest of the year in FI20, growth is going to get better. As you already know, base effects are going to be favorable in the second half of the year. So from a sub-6% growth in first half, we do think the growth will go back above 6% in the second half of the year. Uh, and But net, on average, leave us in the low 6%. And FY21, we expect growth to improve here on and to be uh, to average between 65 and 7%. Since in the past uh, few weeks, we have seen um, significant policy intervention. The finance ministry has laid out a lot of micro measures uh, to address, you know, to tighten implementation gaps, uh, as well as to ensure there are no credit blockages to the stressed parts of the economy. We expect more such measures to be implemented. Uh, but the balance will be maintained between taking supportive measures, but not uh, entailing significant fiscal costs. On the other hand, on the monetary policy end, the central bank has front-loaded uh, policy easing. So that we already are 110 basis points of rate cuts this year in 2019. And we do expect two more uh, rate cuts uh, within this fiscal 20. So a combination of easing monetary policy as well as uh, support from the government, we do think will be helpful. Add to this, uh, we also have government spending that's going to start after the elections. We also have monsoons that are aggregate level have been normal and uh, financial conditions that are easing. So combination of these things uh, we assume will be um, helpful for growth. For the equity markets, I think the FBI uh, removal of the FBI tax surcharge was certainly a welcome move. Attention here on shifts towards corporate earnings uh, as well as growth expectations. For the bond markets, we see that the yield curve is likely to steepen. Uh, the short end held down by rate cut expectations and the long end held uh, steady to higher because of fiscal worries. And you, on the, for the rupee, we continue to believe that global catalyst will matter very much, particularly the dollar, which we think will rise for the rest of this year because of favorable growth and rate differentials, while the yuan's influence on rupee continues to rise. This is likely to see dollar rupee head back towards 72 and higher uh, for the rest of this year.